Ooh, five people already. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I know you can't talk back to me, but I'm happy to talk to you for five minutes before we start. I hope you're all well. Find yourself a mat, make sure you're wearing something comfortable. Nice long space to lie down in. You might want to get a pillow or a block or something else. Usually I'd say maybe you'd want to get a jumper in case you get cold, but I don't think that's likely today. It's very hot in the studio today. I'm just checking the time. We've got two minutes till we start. Make sure you've got a drink of water. I'm just going to do a quick sound check to check that you can hear the music. now so welcome if you've just turned up we'll be starting in about a minute find yourself a mat or a space to lay on in your front room floor comfortable clothing is that loud enough perfect comfortable clothing and I'll tell you a little bit about today's class as people begin to log on welcome I'll be saying that a lot because as more people log on okay so we're actually going to start today's class in about a minute, I'll give you a little introduction and we'll end the class today with five minutes relaxation, okay, because it's a stretch and relax class, so we will be stretching, but we'll also be doing some relaxation at the end, just a short little bit. So, I've got a yoga mat here, if you haven't got one of those, it doesn't matter, you can lay on the floor, you can lay on a normal mat, you can lay on a towel, just somewhere where you can be comfortable. So we're gonna start this evening with you laying down in a full body stretch on the mat. So if you want to get yourselves comfortable on the mat, I'm going to stay standing to talk to you for the first couple of minutes to introduce the class and to get us moving and doing what we need to be doing. Okay, so I think it's 22. Welcome everybody and we'll get started. about and no matter what ability or what level of fitness you are or flexibility you are this is suitable for everybody okay so I'd like you to lay on the mat with a full body stretch however you feel comfortable just close your eyes or soften your gaze and we're going to begin the class by breathing in and breathing out slowly and deeply to inhale and as you inhale through your nose I want you to hold your breath as your lungs fill with air and then exhale slowly so inhale through your nose slowly hold your breath Inhale through your nose, hold, and exhale out. Inhale through your nose, hold, and exhale out. I want you to continue with this breathing, and I want you to scan your body. Feel for any areas of tension, both physically, emotionally, any areas of stress, any areas of pain that you might feel in your body this evening. And just acknowledge it. We're not looking to change anything this evening. We're working with what we've got. We're going to accept where we're at tonight. We're going to work with it. And then we're going to stretch out and relax. 
inhale, hold, and exhale. Inhale, hold, and exhale. Inhale, hold, and exhale. Okay, I'd like you to very gently bring your feet to the floor and bring your knees up. Your head should be facing forwards and your shoulders should be away from your ears. I want you to very gently bring your knees into your chest, hold on to your shins or hold on to your calf, your thighs if you need to and keep breathing. In and out. Now if you can't do that, just come as near as you can. Everybody's got different degrees of flexibility. Hold in. Now, if you've got no mobility in your hips or limited mobility, it might be that you can only come to there, but come as far as you comfortably can over without your hip coming too far off the floor. And we're just going to relax into this, relax the shoulders down, relax the arms. Focus on your breathing. slightly different. We're going to begin by working on our neck and our shoulders, releasing tension in our upper body. So if you're comfortable sitting cross-legged, that's fine. But however you want to sit, you could do this on a chair. Lift up your chest, take your shoulders away from your ears. And I'd like you to inhale and lift your arm up. Now, if you can't get your arm all the way up, that's fine. Go as, as far as you can, but we're looking to straighten our arm. Now take the hand onto the opposite ear and gently just tilt your head to the side. Feel a stretch along the side of the neck and all the way down the shoulder. So this elbow should be backwards. Should feel uncomfortable. 
listen to your body, go with whatever feels comfortable. Some days you'll feel more able to do things than others, and that's okay. And release it off. Roll your shoulders. And again, and lift back up through the chest. Okay, we've got options here. You can stay with your knees crossed, or you can take your feet out in front of you. Lift up your chest, straighten out one of your arms. Place the outside of your hand outside of the opposite knee. And we're going to turn and gaze into in the space behind us. Now, as you do this, you stay there. What you're focusing on is lifting up your chest and taking your arm across the body, drawing up to round your shoulders. Only go as far as is comfortable.
Inhale, come back up into down dog and hold. And come back down to child's pose. Okay, from here, we're gonna do some basic lunge work stretches. So come up to kneeling and take one leg in front of you. Now check that your toe is in front of your knee. We're not there, we're there, okay? Now if this is all that feels good for you today, you stay with this, okay? But if you feel comfortable to, place your hands down and take the other knee back. So you're stretching your hip flexor, Keep your shoulders down and keep your head up. Now from here, if you're happy to, lift up the back knee and hold. to extend the stretch with your arms forwards. So remember that's always an option if you want to come back down to the floor, that's totally fine. Hands come back down, knee comes back down, and we're going to sit back and straighten out this front leg. So my foot is flexed, my body is forwards, my chest is up. Now, I'm really tight in my hamstrings. If you are, that's okay. You might only be able to come to there, that's fine. But we're aiming for a straight leg and a lifted chest. Nice work. And take the other foot behind you, back into child's pose. Repeat on the other side. Come up to kneeling. Other leg goes in front. Check your toe and your knee placement so that when we lean forward, the knee is no further forward than the toe. Lift up your chest. If that's uncomfortable on your back knee, you can get anything that's nearby, fold it up and pop it under your knee if you need to. Chest forwards. Eye goes forwards, hands down. So you'll be feeling this all here, okay? Keep your shoulders lifted, and when you're ready, back knee comes up. Remember that's your option, and if you want to, raise your hands. Lower option is here. So you will have one side that's tighter than the other. So if you look here, I can't get my leg straight because this is a tighter side. So go wherever feels comfortable to and lift your chest. And come back up. Bring your knees back and come back down to child's pose. so that you can see where my leg is and then I'm going to turn around. Now everyone will have different degrees of flexibility and that's all right, okay? So if for you, all you can do is sit cross-legged, that's totally fine. 
any type of exercise or stretch work is really subjective, so don't worry. And that's why these virtual classes are so good, because you don't have to look at the person next to you who's got their legs behind their ears. So, take your leg out in front of you. Now, my heel is by my groin. If you want to make this harder, my leg would be parallel to the straight line of the mat, okay? I'm gonna take it in just a touch, but I'm gonna lift up my chest, and I'm going to make sure both my hips are forward and square. So you can't see my foot, but it's behind me. So I'm in a strange kind of Z shape. Yes? Now, it's the temptation is to lean down. We don't want that. We want to come directly up. And I'm facing forwards. So from here, you've got the option to extend the back leg out behind you, keeping that heel by the groin and my hips forwards. That might be too much. That's okay. Stay where you are. Hands go down on the floor in front of you and you lift up the chest and you arch the back. Any pain in the lower back, release and stretch. And if you want to, you can hold on to the back toe. That's up to you. And release it off. And come back to seated. Relax your hips. Line up your foot again in front of you. Take the other leg behind you. Now take a moment to re-centre. Chest is forward, head is up, shoulders are down. Brace your core. Take that other leg behind you. And re-centre. My hips are down, I'm not leaning to one side. If you've got a yoga block or a towel, you may want to pop it under your supporting button. And again, if you want to take that back leg up, that's up to you. That's not for me today. And release it off. And come back to seated. Okay. Bring yourself back down to a lying position. And something that the majority of people struggle with is tight hamstrings, okay? Very few people can put their leg up and be completely straight first off. So we're going to work on hamstring flexibility. What I want you to focus on is not pointing and flexing your foot. So flex your foot and push your foot in the air. Don't worry about holding on yet. And I want you to try and straighten your leg. Now for some people, your leg's going to be back here, it's going to be easy for you. I don't find this easy at all. And I'd like you to inhale and hold behind your thigh or your calf. Now immediately my knee is bending, so it shows that I'm struggling with this. So I'm going to try and straighten my leg, keep my foot flexed. My leg's shaking. I mustn't point, I need to stay like this. Obviously, if it hurts, release it off. And I'm going to extend that stretch away. So I've got my right leg lifted. My right hand is going on the floor. My leg stays straight. My left hand goes on my right thigh. And I'm going to drop the leg across my body. Keeping my bottom down and my rib cage on the floor. Feel the stretch all along the back of the glute. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to come back up to centre. And then I'm going to inhale. 
keeping my foot flexed, I've not flexed it, I'm going to drop it open the other way. So I've got good adductor flexibility, but really poor flexibility in my glutes. So this feels easier for me than going the other way. Inhale, come back to centre. Look, I've tightened off and stretched off now. And release it off. We're going to inhale and lift the other foot to the ceiling. Keep your foot flexed. Hold behind the thigh, hold behind the calf. the other leg, left leg, right hand, come back to centre and drop open the other way. Take them in one direction and then back in the opposite one. Now, for some people, that flexibility here is good. Take hold of your hat for your feet and come up into happy baby. Now, if that's not for you, hands go here, that's absolutely fine. Roll up through the back. down into a full body stretch. And just relax and close your eyes. Okay, I'd like you to re-scan your body. Think about when you started the class, the areas of tension that you felt, how you felt. Think about any areas of stress that you might have had, both physically and emotionally, what's gone on in the day. Think about how you feel now. You might feel better. Hopefully you don't feel worse. You might feel the same. Whatever it is, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna finish the class off with a few minutes of relaxation time. Whatever you're doing at the moment in these strange times, whether it's working from home, whether it's going into work, whether you're living in uncertainty, the good thing about taking time to stretch and to relax is that it gives us time to be just at one with ourselves. Now for everybody that can mean something different. So for you, you might just be lying here with your eyes closed taking this opportunity to think about what you're going to buy on Amazon. That's okay. Look, I'm interrupted. Or you might be thinking about other things. So if you want to zone out from me, that's fine. Or you can listen. And I'll talk you through some relaxation. So focus back on your breathing. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, 
exhale, hold. And just be aware of your surroundings. If you can hear noise in the background, that's fine, be aware of it. If it's perfectly calm and peaceful, be aware of it. Thank your body for everything that it's allowed you to do today. Whether it's working, looking after children, going out for a walk, thank it. You've repaid it by allowing it to be stretched out and for you to have some time for yourself. The mind is connected to the body and the body is connected to the mind in ways that we don't always appreciate. And taking this time to hold poses and positions mindfully is really important for us. It not only increases flexibility, but it makes us focus on our posture and our breathing. And it makes us think about how we're holding ourselves. And it also gives us that all important time to ourselves. slowly become aware of your surroundings again. Begin to move your fingers, begin to move your toes, and slowly open your eyes. Rotate your head from side to side. And when you're ready, roll over onto your side. time, come up to seated. Lift up your chest and refocus on your breathing. I'd like to thank you for joining me today, but I'd like you to thank yourselves for giving yourself this time. Open your chest up and bring your hands either forward to prayer or to give yourself a little round of applause. Well done, thank you very much everybody. I'll see you next week.